This right here is our Elastic Audio modes. So Elastic Audio allows us to manipulate audio. We can quantize it, stretch it, and do a lot of powerful things. Polyphonic is the best for complex information, like a whole song, or guitar chords, piano chords. Rhythmic is great for drums or percussion. Monophonic is great for single note instruments like a bass or a voice. Verispeed will allow you to stretch audio, but it will not preserve the pitch, meaning it will speed up or slow down when you stretch it. Elastic Pro is another algorithm that could potentially be better for your situation. And X-Form is the highest quality. So if you use this, you are going to have to wait, but it is very worth the results. It's basically going to make the audio the highest quality without artifacts or any grainy sound. So let's demonstrate Elastic Audio quickly. So for this whole entire song, I'm going to use Polyphonic because it's complex material. You'll see the Pro Tools. We'll analyze the track now and there's a little green light. And now you're going to notice I have two options that weren't there before. I have the Analysis Lane and Warp. So like a lot of other programs, I now have warp markers that lets me stretch and move audio. So let's say this is a bass performance and I wanna move this one note. If I drag just one part of it, you're gonna notice the whole thing stretches. I don't want that. So I'm gonna hold control and draw my own warp markers. I'm making basically a boundary that says it's only gonna be affected within this region. And now if I click and drag this, I can stretch the note however I see fit. To remove these, all I have to do is hold Option and click. So Elastic Audio is incredibly powerful. I could take a whole performance and hit the Quantize button, and then it would put it in time. Or I can use my warp markers and move things exactly how I see fit.